Adams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He hits a booming kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Possibly changing the play here prior to the snap. Here's the option. Brought down at the 25. The big fella couldn't get any momentum going. It's tough to get this guy down in the backfield. He's always falling forward. But on that one, they hit him before he could get his weight going forward. From their own 25-yard line, third down. Back to pass. He's taken down at about the 31. Nothing doing for the offense, and it's fourth down. This is the kind of solid, consistent play you look for in your defense. Let's see if the offense can follow it up. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Room around the corner. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. Great job by the cover guys getting downfield to really limit the return to next to nothing. So at the end of one quarter, this one's scoreless. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Got a man. Watch out here. And down he goes at the 41. Penn State's going to use their first time out of the half here. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Wants to go long and done. And he's got it. And he scores. Touchdown. These poor guys in the secondary look like they're still trying to catch up with him. He's gone in a heartbeat. Penn State with a six-point lead. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. They'll start at the 25-yard line. taking their first time out of the half. First down. From their own 38-yard line. First down. Can't find anyone open. He lost the ball. And it's picked up by one of the linemen. Diving for extra yardage. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. He scrambles. They'll bring him down at the 34. He may have changed things up here. Now he tries to buy some time. He's wrapped up for the sack. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Him hard at the 26-yard line. Army's out of timeouts. 
The field goal unit's out on the field. And they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. It has the distance. And he just drilled it from long range. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 7-3, Penn State. They might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. And they can forget about returning this one. They'll take over at the 25. Penn State is up by four. He makes it to the 28-yard line. So at the end of the half, the Nittany Lions in front, 7-3. Well, if you love defensive football, you had to really enjoy that first half. Time to start the second half in this low-scoring matchup. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's we'll take a minute to get an update from Aaron Andrews. Well, both coaches promised to show a little more of their playbook here in the second half, Brad. They noted that they missed some plays and they could do a better job overall, but told their guys to just stay focused and all the pieces will come together. It was a cleanly played first half as far as turnovers were concerned. Brad, back up to you. Let's see if they can get something going now. From their own 25-yard line, first down. Taken down right around the 44-yard line. Army just took their first time out. That makes it first and ten. He looks to throw on first down. Quick throw onto the receiver. That's a great tackle at the 46. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Play action. Gets away from a defender. Throws on the run. Completes. The Black Knights, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. From the 27-yard line, first down. Penn State is up four. Handoff inside. He's tackled around the 15-yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. From the 15-yard line, it's first down. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Number 16 breaks it up. That makes it second and 10. It's second and 10. Ball on the 15-yard line. Tackles him hard at the 18. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? From the 18-yard line, it's third down. One will fall incomplete. Number 89, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and 13. That's three down and one to go. The Nittany Lions lead it by four. Our final minute of this ball game. Under a minute left. Kicks away, and it's good. Number one, 
Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. The key here is to keep stopping the clock. The offense will be keeping the ball near the sidelines, and if they throw it to the middle of the field, then the receiver better get to the first down. Back to pass. Across the middle, he's got his fullback. And he is drilled at the 33-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. The spike will stop the clock. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Caught open field. Third and long, and this is where you earn your money if you're the offensive coordinator. to pass going for it all to the end zone no incomplete he overthrew the intended receiver oh boy they take a shot here at the end zone and he just let that one get away from him this could be it fellas it's fourth down drops back to pass he chucks it downfield and he got it he's all the way touchdown this guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. That's a great touchdown, Brad, but what happened to the coverage there by the defense? The defensive coordinator's got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying an offense and their tendencies, and then to have a mental error and to leave the star receiver open like that for a touchdown? Well, they've got to regroup. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. So a seven-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. This defense right now is not doing a good enough job of getting pressure on this quarterback. He's sitting back there and has so much confidence reading the defense. They've got to do something, whether it's a blitz, zone pressure, whatever it might be, to try to get him out of rhythm. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. The worst thing that should happen for the offense now is that the game will go into overtime. If they can make a couple of plays, then maybe they'll pull it out in regulation. And they make the stop at about the 23-yard line. Second down at 12. Ball on the 23-yard line. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. It's getting louder down on the field. Quick throw incomplete. Water is receiver. Strong showing by the defense. You always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can. Excellent punt. Calls for the fair catch. So if you're the offense here, what's your mindset right now? Well, I think they're anxious to get back out on the field. Last time out, they drove right down the field, so they know they can move. Right down around the 38-yard line. So it looks like four quarters wasn't enough. We're heading to overtime. from the 25-yard line. First down. And they get 
the Saints. Well, this defensive end has tremendous athletic ability. You can see it there on that sack. But also, let's not forget that I think the blitz freed up the DN that time. Maybe a little bit of a miscommunication up front. But nonetheless, his speed was able to close in and get to that quarterback. From the 29-yard line, second down. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. This is where you get false starts. Drops back to pass. Deep ball, laying it out there. So the kicker will come out and try to build a three-point cushion here in overtime. The kick is away. It's long enough, and it's good. I know they would have rather put the ball in the end zone, but this is still big. Points are points. I think their defense is going to thrive under the circumstances. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. And he's level at the 20. And Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. From the 20-yard line, second down. at the 21. This defensive end just showed us why he's much more than just a pass rusher. That'll bring up third and six. From the 21-yard line, third down. Down the middle. It's picked off, and that's the game. We had a fight to the finish here today. Penn State 13, Army 10.